hello, hello, and happy Friday Eve to all of my Geminis. Yes, we are we are headed into the new moon in Aries. Yes, let's get right into your general reading. Please take only what resonates with you. Don't forget to set your notification um, bell to all. All right, let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading. Geminis, let's get right into your general reading. Please only take what resonates with you. And again, if you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. Let's get into it, Geminis. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. All right. Okay. Here we have death rebirth. Mm-hmm. Something, some intense emotions are going on here. We have the strength card. We have the higher font card. We also have the chariot card. We have the empress card and the temperance card. Yes. Okay. 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 Somebody, there's a lot of things that's going on with you, Gemini, a lot of things. And again, this is going to be short but sweet, but we, this is a preview of April's, a full month of April reading, which is going to, you're going to get the full reading on Sunday. But this is something you want to prepare for because new moon energy is about setting those, planting those seeds of intention, watering those seeds and speaking over them and not telling everybody, being very careful about who you share your plans with okay i hope that if you don't get anything else out of this reading that's what new moon energy is about across the board here we go i'm seeing somebody um about to give birth this is a rebirth that you're going through right but this rebirth in you is focused now um going towards doing the things that you love to do right the things that you love to do for yourself which is extremely important, right? When we talk about Venus, Venus is the planet of love, beauty, creativity, money, your values, your sentiments, how you create, what brings you pleasure. You all are so used to adapting. You're a mutable sign, so you're, you're givers by default. You're just so used to adapting to everybody else around you. I'm seeing now, Gemini, you're only a, you're adapting to what you like to do for yourself, right? Somebody is at a higher frequency, and you have a you have a loved one who has transitioned, someone who has died, right? Someone who has died is watching over you, telling you, "Hey, this is your time to do what's best for you, Gemini." All that other stuff, tap into your strength. This has been an emotionally difficult time for somebody. Somebody, it's been a real challenging time because, again, you're so used to adapting. Now the whole idea of you just doing things for you is going to what make you feel uncomfortable because your your first mind is what are other people going to think? What, what kind of story are they going to tell? What, how are they going to spin the narrative, right? But I also see you being, okay, this is attached to Taurus. This is attached to Sagittarius. This is attached to Cancer. Um, this is attached to Leo and this is attached to Scorpio. So when we, when I talk about, when I, when I share the signs, I'm talking about what plant, what their ruling planet is. Cause every sign is connected to a planet is more about the characteristics of what's going on. So you could have all of these signs in your birth chart. That's why I always talk about pulling your full birth chart, but I can tell you that someone who has transitioned or someone who has died is really watching over you to make sure you are like this. Very, very happy. They're trying to keep a smile on your face. They're saying, Hey, listen, it's time for you to nurture yourself. You're a human lie detector. You are highly intuitive. You know how to tap into these gifts that you have. You are a sweetheart. They're constantly reminding you of things, constantly reminding you, hey, it's time for you, Gemini, to take over the world, to share your gifts with the world. So it could be somebody's mother that's coming through, whether she is physically, um, physically, um, laid to rest or whether, because remember we die and are reborn every single day or whether she is sending you message via telepathy to tell you to keep a smile on your face. It's going to be okay. It's going to be all right, Gemini. So just stay focused. And the reason why I say to somebody's mother is because again, somebody, so, so you were in somebody's womb, right? So this is your own rebirth. This is not somebody giving birth to you. This is your own rebirth, which has been a challenging one for somebody who has been like, you know, you if you've ever had children and you've heard the stories that sometimes birth stories can be horrific where the person is in labor for, it seems like forever, right? But then as soon as the baby is born, a lot of women will say, 
you know what, as, as painful as that was, yes, I will do it again. I would do it again, right? So again, this is what I'm seeing here. Like somebody may have gone through a real painful marriage where it just felt like this excruciating pain. But again, marriage to a person or a place. It could have been married to a job. You could have been in a, a romantic relationship or a business relationship with somebody. And it was just excruciating. It could have been both. But again, someone from the other side is saying, hey, Gemini, stay focused. Stay focused. Here we have, I am open and welcome. Whatever happens in life. See? And then we have, have expectations for the life you want, but practice detachment from the outcome. That's right, practice detachment from the outcome. Absolutely. You don't have to uh, try to adjust. This is where you're going to learn how to go with the flow. Because somebody has had some real deep, dark thoughts about this situation that they are no longer in, involved in anymore. And um, so, again... Somebody is really, really intent on keeping a smile on your face. And like I said, they're on the other side. Their spirit is already on the other side, so you want to ground yourselves. And these messages are coming through like lightning. So you may want to go take a walk or sit outside and ground yourselves or ground yourselves in the house. But get in harmony with your higher self so that you can receive those messages coming through. Yeah, somebody, when I tell you it's nothing like having a guardian angel watching over you, protecting you, Gemini, and letting you know, hey, everything is going to be okay. This is your time for you to do for you. And no matter what people think, they can think you're being selfish, but this is your time to take care of your mental health, your physical health. Put that smile back on your face. You'd be surprised. A new start is coming. That's right. Like I said, new moon energy. A new start is coming, and it starts tomorrow on April 1st. I know it could be April 1st in other parts of the world, but as of what I'm reading, it's the end of the month. But again, this is a fresh new start for you. So just know that you are divinely protected. You are divinely covered. And anything that tries to come up against you, hey, you know, it, it's not, it's not going to work. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. That is what I have for you, Geminis. And I'll see you in a couple of days. All right. Bye.